the reform of the health service is, of course, to bring it back into the marketplace and degrade it back again into making healthcare a commodity. So it's not reform at all. It oh. started when Margaret Thatcher started yeah. contracting out domestics and, uh, and porters and laundry services. And again, just the process of administering, asking people to put in bid for contracts, costs money in and of itself to write the contract for what you want, rather than just have domestics doing the cleaning. But then, to, to win the contract, you have to put the cheapest bid in. So the ward I worked on at the time, we had two full-time cleaners on in the morning and a part-time cleaner on in the evening. When I finished at the hospital, they had a half a cleaner on in the morning and then one between about 10 wards in the evening. Yeah. It wasn't cheaper when people get MRSA and infections, which then might cost the whole of what you've saved on the contract on one person if they're in intensive care. I mean, there was a real feeling of ownership about the NHS when it started. People felt that they were doing it themselves, that it was their possession, and they've lost that. So the cost of running the health service, the admin costs, was about 6% before that started. And then they moved up to about 12%. And now they're heading in the direction of American costs for running the health service, anything between 18, 20, 25%. You can see the politicians have chosen to waste a huge amount of money on marketizing the service. I've got a big picture of Nuremberg and I looked at it every day and I think, where are the people? And what he says is all the time the people have got the faith to fight for it and we've been out in the streets and people said, they'll never privatise the NHS, why are you getting so up the wall? They won't do that. And people just didn't believe they would do it. It seems to me the sort of blindness of the enormous advances that have been made in British medicine as a result of the NHS. I mean, there are many things that have taught the rest of the world so far as the NHS was concerned. This was a very uh, inventive organization with lots of new initiatives. I do hope we don't go down the American, the American system of whereby the first thing you met as you come in with broken legs or whatever, with someone with a clipboard who says, are you insured? Mm. When there's money there, the private sector is very happy to be in there taking the cash, thank you very much, and paying its shareholders. And when the money isn't there anymore, as we saw locally, after only a couple of years of involvement in primary care, they were off.